After Devin, Open Devin, Devika, and few others, now we have Devon. Devon is an open source pair programmer which is based on AI. Devon can build and deploy apps end to end and can also train and fine tune its own AI models as per the GitHub repo. This Devon can plan and execute complex engineering tasks as per se or at least that is the hope of this project which has just been launched on GitHub and already seems quite promising. There are many features already there like multi-file editing, code base exploration, config writing, test writing, bug fixing and also it can explore the architecture for you. One limitation which comes out of the box at the moment is that it only deals with Python. So if you are trying to use it with non-Python languages, there will be very minimal functionality or none whatsoever. Also, it's sometimes you have to specify the file here where you want the change to happen, which is a bit of a blocker. But as I said, this is very rapidly evolving. I think it is just launched a few days back and already it has got a lot of contributors and forks. So hopefully this is going to be more solid in the coming days. In this video, we will be installing it locally and then we will also try it out. One thing which really I liked about this project is that it is easy to install unlike OpenDevin or specifically Devika, which are pain in the back to install. So at least, you know, full marks to the developers who have at least made the installation simple. Now, in order to run it, one thing you would need is Anthropic key because it, it uses that LLM. Uh, it doesn't use OpenAI and it doesn't use Olam or any open source model, which is a bummer. So I would hope that the developers would also look into at least getting it integrated with any of the <clears throat> open source model through Olama because that makes things so easier and easier, uh, cheaper to run locally. So if you don't have any Anthropic account, go to Anthropic's website, sign up with your email address and then once you log in, go to your profile and then on the left hand side click on api key and create the key from here first time when you create it you get five dollars free credit so that is what i'm using at the moment hopefully that should be enough for this project and then we would need to set that api key from anthropic in our environment but i will show you when so let me take you to my local system where i am running ubuntu 22.04 I have one GPU card of 22 GB of VRAM, but you don't need that much because we are using API based 16 GB VRAM is good enough. But make sure that you at least have 32 GB of RAM. Okay, so let's clear the screen. Another thing I would highly suggest you do is Conda or Mini Conda, which will keep everything separate and nice and clean. So this is my Conda version. If you don't know how to install Conda, I have already done a video on it. So please check it out. There are three more things you need. First, install Pipex. But maybe let's first create the Conda environment and then we will install the prerequisite that will make things easier for all of us. First up, as you can see that I am creating this Conda environment with the name of Devon. That is done. Let's press Y here. And that is good enough. Let's activate that day one environment by simply doing conda activate day one, press enter here. And you can see that now day one is activated here. Let's clear the screen and now it's time to install the prerequisites. First up, make sure that you have installed pipex. Simply do a pip install pipex. And that is done already. Let's clear the screen. Another thing you would need to do is sudo apt install node. I already have it, so I'm not going to do it again. And then also sudo apt install npm. And I also have it. Let me show you my versions. Node-v and npm-v. This is all you needed to do in terms of prerequisites. Another thing which you need to do is to, of course, as I said earlier, you would need to set your Anthropics API key, which I showed you above. So simply in this environment, type export and then anthropic underscore api underscore key make sure it is in caps and then put your key after equal to sign which you grabbed from that anthropics website so let me put in my anthropics key and then i will clear the screen 
Okay, so let me put it in. So these are all the prerequisites which we needed to do. Now, in order to install it, all you need to run is this command. That's it. It is going to download the files from this GitHub repo, dev1, and then it is going to use shell to get it installed. So let me run it. So you see it is installed. It has installed the backend quickly. Now it is installing the front end. How good is that? Amazing stuff. Now we already have set our key. We have already installed prerequisites. Let's go to any of your project folder where you have the code. So for me, I have the code in this directory. I'll quickly show you. So I have just created this simple uh, Python file which contains some random Python code of a game. Nothing really fancy. I'll actually show you if you are interested. There you go. So it is just a game, you know, which starts a game, beer room, so and then gold room. So it, it has just choices of some of the room. So nothing else. You can just put in any hello world uh, program if you like. Now, all you need to do is to start your dev one here by simply typing dev one and then in your project folder, of course, in the root of it and press enter here. You see it is initializing. And now a uh, task is asked user what to do. There you go. So what it is doing is, so it is asking me what, what would you like to, me to do? Um, I'm just going to say, it. can you put some, or maybe I'll just say what this code is doing. Let's see if it is able to read it. It is waiting for the day one. Let's wait for it to come back. So you see that it is running. Day one is thinking. The user has asked me to explain what the code in this project is doing. It looked like the bike code directory is currently empty. It's not empty. Okay. Maybe it is unable to read that code. Uh, my code directory is not empty. There is a file my20.py. Can you read that file and tell me what that code is doing? Let's see if it is able to tell me now. Hmm. Okay, so I needed to. Oh, I think I also mentioned that they have put it in the repo. Sometimes we have to tell them the exact name of the file. Only then it is able to detect. I, I'm, I'm sure they are going to fix it in the future versions. That is a bit annoying. So let's wait to the, see. Devon says you are right. I apologize for missing the myadventure.py. Okay, so if I scroll up, it says the myadventure.py file contains a text-based adventure game. Absolutely awesome. That is true. And then, you know, it is going about all the function that, you know, what is happening with start game, beer game, beer room, and all that stuff. Beautiful, beautiful. And uh, can you run it and with random input and see if this code works? Let's wait for it. Yeah. So while I was running, the poor me, my <laughs> credit which I had filled in has already expired. So what it shows us that it could become very expensive very soon. Only up to two token, few tokens. Um, I had put in five dollars, so it has consumed five dollars just for reading this sim simple file plus running it. So I think that is a bit of a bummer. So that is why my request to the developers is to make sure this works with Olama, otherwise there is no point in running this expensive software in the production environment. And mind you, I'm sure this is running Claude's um, Anthropics Claude model, which is way expensive than OpenAI's GPT-4. So either change it to OpenAI or better yet, make sure it works with Olama. Otherwise, awesome tool, works, installation is simple. But very very expensive if you want if you want it to be mainstream so that people will be using it make it work with olama anyway that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed uh, this demo installation and the review 
if i will drop the link to it in video's description if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you want um, me to help my huge loss of these five dollars to entropic uh, please um, feel free to make donations at my coffee link which should be in the video's description don't feel compelled by the way uh, it is totally voluntary if you like the content at least please subscribe to the channel if you already are subscribed then do me a favor and get your uh, family or friends or social network to subscribe thanks for watching